What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tales from the Trash Can. I'm your host, Sid's Light, and today we're going to talk about Don't Breathe. So, I just finished watching Don't Breathe, and though I admit I have seen it previously, it's got a lot of small surprises and twists that keep it interesting, on top of a unique plot to begin with. So, a group of three college-age kids have a criminal enterprise of sorts, using one of their parents' security jobs to bypass security systems, sneak into houses, and rob them undetected. This leads them to a big score opportunity of a blind veteran's house, which is guarded by this huge dog, and when they get there, realize it has tons of logs they didn't have keys for. They push through anyways and find their way into the house, and once the old man ends up waking up because of how much noise they're making, it turns into them trying to avoid him and hide around the house and escape, while he slowly pursues them by sound. It's fascinating. I won't spoil where the movie goes, but it has some killer twist and some really dark notes you don't expect to show up. It's a pretty unique concept for a movie, and they executed it marvelously. Considering how much of the film is just small amounts, of movement for the only source of sound and pure silence otherwise it's really impressive acting wise it has a decent cast talent wise with stephen lang playing the old blind man he plays the colonel in the avatar movies is something people aren't going for and then opposite of him are jane levy who is pretty much i would say the main character of the movie uh, she was in one of the many Evil Dead remake and reboots, which is probably what got her cast in this movie. As well as Dylan Minnette, who you may recognize from Scream recently, where he played Wes. And Daniel Zabato, who I'm not familiar with his work prior to this, but he did great in his role on here. And again, Jane Levy stood out the most to me, but everyone played their parts really well. As for the effects, they have this one really good shot of a gun being shot close up into someone's head, and it's brutal looking. It's really good. Outside of that, there's not a lot of flashy effects to write home about, but that said, it didn't feel like it was lacking in the least. It just used what it needed to get by. All said and done, for me personally, this is going to come out to four skulls. I really enjoyed the movie. It's well done with high quality film and solid acting. Plus, it's got a really unique concept with unexpected twist. I almost gave it a four and a half, but it didn't make me jump or really scare me. It was a good movie, and that's not a bad thing. It was just a good movie, though. Thank you again for joining me today. If you have any thoughts on the movie or any movies you'd like for me to review, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks again for joining me, and you guys have a great day.